Hello there, folks. Hope you're all doing well. Just here with a new place, watering my palms. And I just wanted to make a video while I was at it to uh, stress the importance of watering palms after transplanting. Very important. And, uh, you know, generally it's, uh, you know, it's, it's always something you want to do, watering palms after transplanting. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's better safe than sorry, obviously. And, uh, you know, usually better to, to water too much than water too little with, uh, you know, with very few exceptions, uh, you know, with palms, obviously the majority of them, the vast majority come from, uh, you know, wet climates, if not rainforest climates. And, uh, you know, it's just very, very important to keep them well watered. So it is kind of hard to overwater, like even with tricarpus, but especially with like sables, needle palms, I find it's kind of impossible to overwater them. And it's very possible to underwater them, especially after transplanting when the roots are just getting adjusted. They're not all the way into the soil, meaning that it's harder for them to soak up all that water. Uh, you got to keep them very well watered. Uh, I'm out here, drive down here every day and watering them. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm doing it daily, at least for the first week or two after transplanting. This one you can see has been suffering a bit, uh, but hopefully it's gonna adjust well. It's got this good spear at least. Uh, these are little trackies here, but uh, yeah, I mean, trade carpets comes from a pretty wet climate up in the mountains. Obviously, sable miner, needle palm come from uh, very wet climates in the Southeast, very humid, wet climates. And, uh, you know, sable atonia too. A lot of these palms, uh, they definitely like their water. And uh, very, very important to keep that, uh, you know, to keep them wet after you transplant them. Because, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, there's issues like transplant shock, but uh, if you really want to help them adjust well uh, and uh, avoid some transplant related issues, because often, you know, underwatering uh, can, can be a component of those issues, uh, you know, just keep your palms well watered. Give them a lot of water after transplanting, and uh, they will be happy and they will adjust well. And I've noticed mine are already starting to adjust well. Uh, Tracking carvis already pushing out a lot of new growth, which is awesome. This fronds fully open since it was transplanted. Uh, and a sable atonia also is pushing out noticeably more growth here. The spear's opening up, which is awesome. I'm gonna refill this, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I, I keep refilling it up and just bring it back here. And uh, the most important thing to keep water daily, I'd say, you know, with some of these, they can probably wait a day or two. I'm down here daily, no matter what, and water them all. You know, again, it's pretty hard to overwater these. Uh, but the most important thing is the seedlings. I've already noticed some of them are not gonna make it. Some of them are just really, you know, I mean, it could just be a root issue when, when I dug them up, but uh, some of them already are just super thin, like that, look like a blade of grass. That's when you know they're kind of dried up, but uh, some of them are, most of them are doing well. Every single one of the tracky seedlings looks like it's doing well, which is awesome. So uh, nice and healthy and uh, looking good. But again, really key to water them. And the thing I noticed here is that all the soil stays moist, which is great. This is sort of like a, uh, where, where some of the water pools up. It's, it's like kind of, it's been muddy here like the whole week, which, which is good, because especially for sables, because uh, that's like perfect for them and it, it retains water longer. Got all the shade here with the bamboo. I will do a full yard tour. So a lot of people have been asking about the different plants because there's some cool ones around. Magnolias, broadleaf evergreens, all sorts of cool stuff. So I'll show you guys all that very shortly once I get everything transplanted. All the palms are here. I just gotta get my cacti and I've gotta reorganize a few things. Gotta figure some stuff out, but uh, we are moving in like, yeah, like a week and a half, two weeks now. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think it's like two weeks now, two and a half weeks. And uh, so I'll give you a full yard update then. And uh, yeah, really look forward to everything. But yeah, I've noticed this is one I, I was kind of worried about because it was still recovering. It looks like it's already pushing out more growth. The spear is really opening up now. So that is just awesome. And I think it's got another one here. It's my needle palm. So really excited to see that. And uh, it just looks like these are adjusting well. So yeah, like and subscribe for our videos, folks. Stay tuned and take care. And uh, keep your palms watered and uh, they'll be happy. So have a good one.